coming up. Cindy Lauper will reveal the true spin on Shebop. If you didn't know what it was about, then maybe you weren't the sharpest tool in the shed. That's me in the spot, and our it rocked. Shebop is a primal rock and roll song. It was strange. I think it was controversial and fun all at the same time. And it made you laugh. It was funny. <laughs> It's no surprise that Cindy Lauper's Shebop inspired so many rumors. So what's the true spin behind Shebop? Myth number one, Shebop is a tribute to the 1950s. There's a myth that Cindy Lauper was really inspired by the 50s dance crazes. Cindy loves the music of the 1950s, and believers of this rumor think she wrote Shebop as an updated version of the 50s dance craze, the bop. The word bop reminded me of Gene Vincent's song, you know, bebop Lula, and, and it always related to sort of dancing in the 50s, and so it does have dance connotations. I assume that it was just sort of a, you know, a dance thing. Do the shebops. Fans see further nods to her 50s fetish in the video's malt shop and 57 Chevy. Bop was a big 50s phrase. She was drawing inspiration from the 50s with Shebop. So it could be a new wave two-step. But was Cindy dancing with herself? Myth number two, Shebop is about female masturbation. Women masturbate? Who knew? I heard that it was about women pleasuring themselves. Believers say a few cryptic lines are Lopper's lingo for self-love. Do I want to go out with the lion's roar? I want to go south and get me some more. <laughs> inspection of the video finds several allusions to the taboo topic. They're dancing with the, the, the blind glasses and the white canes, you know, as I'm going blind. So maybe Shebop is a 1950s tribute, or maybe it's Cindy's way of saying, just do it to yourself. But don't go downtown just yet. There's still another stop along the way. Myth number three. Many believe the song is an ode to Francois de Labreowski. Believers point to the cryptic message in the video. It says, in the words of Francois de la Brioski, everybody bop. So who is this Frenchman, and what does he have to do with Shebop? I am Pierre Francois de la Brioski. I've heard that that was because she was a huge fan of, of the Honeymooners, and that she loved Ed Norton's character. Who designed and built the sewers of Paris. <laughs> Some think she loved him so much, she wrote him this song. In one, two, three. A lot of people thought that Shebop was sort of like a nod towards Cindy's favorite TV show, The Honeymooners, because she was such a big Ed Norton fan. It's time to solve the mystery. Is Shebop a 1950s tribute, female masturbation, or is it in fact an ode to Francois de la Brioski? Le plus oh, shut it. If you thought Shebop was a tribute to the 1950s, stop the music. It does have dance connotations, but that's not what it's about. So maybe it's an homage to fictional Frenchie. Are you crazy? It's not that deep. Only one choice left. Here's the true spin. I gotta say, if you didn't know what it was about, then maybe you weren't the sharpest tool in the shed. If you were five, that's okay. You're not supposed to know. But if you're an adult and all of a sudden it dawns on you, come on, <laughs> give me a break. It's about freedom to masturbate. <laughs> and it's more specifically about liberating women and able to do it and not feel guilty about it. It is safe sex anyway. So how did the song come to fruition? Steve Lunt pulled me up, half lit. And I played her this track that I already had. He had this idea, Sheba. And it was basically the, uh, the riff, the uh, dun 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 And I said, OK, I'm coming over. Let me get my rhyming dictionaries and all my accoutrements. I'll be right there. So I told her what it was about. She fell in love with it. He was uh, sitting there telling me about this song, and it was funny. I said, yeah, we have to do it. Um, but we have to make it, have to slip the meaning under the radar. It was really just a private joke between me and her. Because I can't stop messing with the And what's the best way to record a song about masturbation? 
Get butt naked in the studio. It was so ridiculous, I made myself laugh. I was having a personal moment. <laughs> But, you know, then that's what that song was about. So in the end, this girl just wants to have fun, even when she's alone. And that's the true spin on Shebop. Coming up.